from to uh, chat with you. You're fighting on one of our shows, I think it's quite a while away, yeah? It's the yeah. 14th of 15th, June, 15th, 15th of July, July. Yeah, Saturday night, yeah. In Blackpool. Blackpool Winter Gardens, yeah. And it should be a cracking night, that, you know, because it's uh, the homecoming for uh, Jack Armfield yeah, after yeah. his, uh, his uh, win over uh, his old stable mate, yeah, uh, Brian Rose. Yeah, a bit of a weird one, that, wasn't it? Didn't, uh, yeah. Didn't know who wanted to, uh, to nick that one, but yeah, it was a weird one, but... And this is going to be your third pro fight? My third pro fight, yeah. Um, last box in October. Um, I actually missed out on the, uh, the decision on that one. So I've had two and one and one. Won my debut back in June last year. Box in October. I had a bit of time out of the ring, injuries and illnesses and stuff. And uh, we're back now. Eight and a half weeks, I think it is. So. But you haven't really had that much of experience, have you? No, no, I've had nothing as an amateur. I had, um, well, I had barely anything. 15, I think, 15 or 16. I boxed with Tame Side Elite as a kid. Um, and then later on, I went to uh, Fox ABC with uh, Jimmy Lewis and uh, Crawler, Charlie Perry, and what have you. And I'd, I think I had one or two for them. Yeah. So, yeah, not, not much as an amateur at all. No, and what you're hoping to do then? Because, like, you with Steve here, and yeah. he was talking to me, and you met up because he was looking for someone to work yeah. out in the gym, wasn't he? Yeah, well, I met him at a gym where he used to work. Um, when I was 16, and we just hit it off. Like I, was, I was a fan of uh, Belly. Funny lad, isn't yeah, very funny lad. I was a fan of him uh, as a person, obviously as a fighter, because I've always been a big boxing fan and grew up watching him a uh, bit. So when I met him, I was a little bit like, oh, good hell, Stevie Bell sort of thing. Yeah. We just hit it off. We just hit it off. So we um, we met up at that gym. We kept in touch, and then a few years, let me know, uh, a few years later, he uh, he got in touch with me. Rose, come here. What are you? Boom. Quick, come and get the camera. Ah, smell of girl rose. <laughs> Sit there while rose. I have talk, yeah? And how old are you, Rose? How old are you? Two. Two. Say, I'm two. You're two. Good girl. So you got something to fight for as well, Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, she ain't got a clue what I do. Um, <laughs> she just knows that I work in that gym with him. Crazy <laughs> cat over there. Well, yeah, um, what was we saying then? We just talked about, like, say, with how you met with Steve and, uh, you know, he sort of got you back into boxing. Yeah, he you? did, he did, because I'd quit. When I met when I met Steve, I'd quit from the amateurs and I used to play football at quite a good level, so um, we, I was just focusing on my football. Well, football's um, a bit easier, you know? A little bit, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I, although I've been punching it a few times playing football as well, but, um, yeah. So we met up and he said to me, um, he said to me, uh, I'm opening this gym. Um, I'd love to have you on board. I like what you did at the gym where we met. Um, are you interested? I said, yeah, of course I am. So we met up and three and a half years we've been open. Just a little less of history, so they say. And so, so you were working on your boxing then for a couple of years? Eh? Yeah, so when, when we met back up, <laughs> when we met back up, um, we did a bit of pad work because my manager said, oh, Ryan's a boxer. And I was like, you know, because obviously never at his level. He was like, oh, I'll take you on the pads. So I was like, oh. And when he took me on the pads, he was just like, he just pulled me to pieces. Like, if I ever thought I could box, he made me feel like I really couldn't. But um, he's good, and that's what he does now. Even on the pads, if he says, you know, throw an uppercut, throw the shot, I think he's great. Thank you, Dan. I, I think he's great. He's like, no, no. But he said Billy Graham used to be like with him. He's just a perfectionist, so it works for me. It works really well for me. But, I mean, it's just sort of great confidence because, like I said, with having none of that experience and stepping into the pro ring, it's, it's, it's very intimidating, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's, and do you know what? It might have helped me that I've not had a shed load of amateur experience because one thing he warned me about was it's a very different sport, it, it, amateur boxing, professional boxing, although, like we spoke about before, they're trying to make the amateurs more like the pros now. Back then, it was very very different so Just single shots wasn't it yeah about scoring and about scoring points and hitting and, and not move. being hit exactly yes yeah. um and you've got to be an all round fighter in the pro so it might have helped me in a way that i've got not got loads of amateur experience and i think i'm i think i'm there sort of thing so and you're hoping to try and keep uh, get a run going because obviously you've had those two fights but what it was nearly seven months ago, wasn't it, your last fight, was it? Yeah, I think by the time we get in the ring, it might be even longer. I think like, like eight months, nine yeah. months, something. Yeah, October. We didn't get the win, but I've learned so much from that fight. Like, it, was a, it was a close fight. I didn't get beaten no, it's, up. No, it's a good, good, good yeah, fight. Yeah, Nathan Hardy, yeah. He's, just, he's been in with a, a couple of our lads. He, he, yeah. he got, on his debut, he beat uh, one of our lads, Tom Barlow. Yeah, uh, by knockout. Yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, then I think only a few months ago he, he stepped in with uh, uh, Danny Wright. Danny Wright, yeah, Danny. NBA that would be really well, yeah. An oh, unbelievable kid, yeah, and really he managed. Nice I thought Danny was going to take him out early on, but uh, he managed. Well, yeah, to yeah, yeah, I think everyone thought obviously Danny's just going to stop this kid, yeah. but he was a very tough lad. He could punch hard. He was quite awkward, yeah, he slipped shots very well. Like, he doesn't look technical, but when you're throwing shots at him, I don't know whether Danny would say the same, but when I was throwing shots at him, you know when you can just feel you're not landing yeah. that well, so that kind of bouncing off his shoulder, bouncing off the top of his head, you're not quite getting there. And yeah, there was a few things wrong for us on the night. But We're not going to go into that one. Yeah, I learned a lot from him. He experienced just made a massive difference. Yeah. It was only your second fight. Yeah, and to my 17th guy, fight in my whole career. So who's not? Who's not a journeyman? Yeah. As we were saying, yeah. you know, he's a guy who's on the road, who's looking to win exactly. every single fight that he goes out to uh, compete in. So realistically, you know, you're yeah, at a big disadvantage. So, yeah, yeah, true. You know, and and to be honest, a lot of people <laughs> said to me. Who you fighting? I said Nathan Hardy. They were like, "You sure? Like, it's a risk. That is a big risk." I know Matthew Batten said to me that, you know, he's a lot better than his record suggests. So, yeah. but we, we we don't want, you know, no fight's an easy fight. If, if someone wants to turn up, like we said, journeymen, away fights, if they want to make it tough, they will. When so. you need to learn, which is what you have to do because you lack of your amateur experience, mm. these are great learning fights. Exactly. And too many people are afraid to lose. Yeah, yeah true. And now you've got that out of the way, yeah. so it's only onward to nothing. That's it, what, 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 what worse can happen? Get yeah. chinned, you're still losing, don't matter if you lose on points no. or you get chinned. Yeah. Like. So hopefully, like you say, that'll set you up for a cracking fight yeah. uh, when you uh, get out yeah, of the back the, the well, In July, July, we've worked on so many things and I can't wait to show people the improvements that we've made. You know, I've sparred people uh, since we haven't been moving now, you mentioned Adam Aid before. Yeah, I've done a load with Adam Aid. Yeah, I did a lot with him before my debut. Um, and then I didn't spar with him for quite a while. So then when we sparred again, him and Matthew were very surprised at my, me improving since my October fight, yeah, since my loss. And um, Tommy Coyle is yeah. as well, he, he said, you know, well, he, yeah, yeah, obviously, yeah, I did it down at the VIP gym. Yeah. Jamie said he was impressed with the difference. Um, he's done a bit with Luke Evans, who was, was with Gary Booth. Yeah, um, he's just moved to Ricky Adams' gym with yeah. uh, Blaine Eunice. Good, really good amateur kick called Joe Eco. Oh, Joe yeah, no, yeah, Joe, yeah. New Centurions, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Ben Lancaster. With Danny Wright's mate just bought yeah. Perry King yeah. in the uh, yeah. NBA. So, yeah, we've done a bit with Joe. He's a, he's a lovely lad, he's a good, he's strong kid. Little. Yeah, he, we have good spars. He's going to be joining the uh, pro ranks, I think. Yeah, I think he'd suit it. Yeah. I think he'd suit it. It's a very aggressive style. Um, and obviously, my long range boxing, we have we have good spars. The styles gel quite well. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to showing everyone the improvements. I've changed a lot in my personal life, and my um, I've, I've added strength and conditioning with guys down at Platform Form, who Danny works with as well, Danny Wright. So, I'm just looking forward to showing everyone it all come together and, and work well for us on the night. Right, look forward to seeing you on the 15th, yeah. but I'll be down there, well, hopefully next time I come and see you, we'll have an opponent yeah. and uh, we'll chat a bit more. Yeah, look forward good to Good luck it, and keep up the good work, mate. Thanks for coming, Lee. Appreciate it, mate. My pleasure. Thank you. Bye.